Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am answering is, what's in the box, bo the, the bag, the baggie, the shrink wrap for this game? This is Jabuka, which is a game, a word-based party game or light game uh, designed by Martin Rusoki, published by a company called Jabuka. And when you order Jabuka over at Jabuka's website, this is how it shows up in this like plastic baggie with like a barcode on it. So I've not played this game. I am about to crack this open for the first time and you'll get to see the components in this game at the same time I do and hear my reactions. So here you have Jabuka as it ships in this plastic package. So we're gonna crack this open. Let's see how easily this cracks just in case I have handy knife on hand. Oh, we got a couple more things in here than I expected. So first off, oh, that's attached. So this is actually how I assume you would find this in MSRP, like in a, in a retail store, hanging on a shelf like this. Now, this thing is shedding a bit, and it's gonna kill my mat, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so what this is meant to look like is a coffee bean bag. You'll see why in a minute. With it is this little, there's an advertisement. There you go. Get 10% off on Amazon. Okay, maybe I need to put my camera to off autofocus. Get 10% off on Amazon or Jabuka Games promo code. So um, here, I'll share that. If anyone wants to purchase Jabuka, here is a promo code for 10% off. And I would greatly appreciate you use the Amazon link that will be in this video. And down below in the notes. So it's speak Jabuka, all one word. Speak Jabuka, save 10% off on Amazon or jabukagames.com. Kind of odd to include that in a copy of Jabuka, but hey, why not? All right, then we move on to, there's a little thing here, which, oh, it's like backwards. They had it backwards. So there's the twisting letter word game. Then it says their amazing twistable alphabet which shows off all of these funky letters you can turn around. And I still haven't seen instructions. Are those inside? I assume those are inside. So we have, whoa. Okay, I, next video, we are turning off autofocus. Sean's gonna have to do some editing on this one. And there we have actual instructions for Jabuka. We have the totally twisted fun, seriously? Totally twisted fun. Instructions are a fold-out, so you can see here, two-sided, looks like lots of examples, how to play and how to play continued, a whole bunch, oh, just a bunch of notes on the back, I don't know, there's a, there's a surprising amount of notes, and then there's a story about the company, which is surprisingly long for a little game like this, and the people who made the game. Now we get to see the cool bits. The bits here. We're gonna dump these out. So here you have the pieces for Jabuka, which look like coffee beans, little wooden coffee beans, which I think is really cool. So we have these wooden pieces that look like coffee beans, and then there are letters on the other side. And I don't even know what I'm looking at. This can be O G or B O, and that's the whole point of this is this letter, all these orange ones, you could have a T, you could have an X, all using the same tile. And I, I'm surprised by some of the ones that are here, like J-O or O-R. And that is the point of this game. Then there are a bunch of letters that don't swap around, which I'm really surprised I and L aren't different. These are very, very light. Um, I'm not sure what wood they're made out of, but they're surprisingly light. Really solid quality. There are also a bunch of just brown coffee beans in here as well. Light brown coffee beans. So, a whole bunch of tiles. A tag, which I'm probably going to take off the game right now. So, this is basically just a promotional piece that would be attached to it to get people going. But it shows how you can use, you know, the W as an M or as an E, the L as a V, and so on. That's the, the neat part, supposed to be, with this game. Oh, here's a full list of all the, the letters that can be used different ways. And you play some type of word game with it. 
comes with this nice coffee roaster kind of bag, which is actually really good quality, but it is shedding a bit, which is a little frustrating. You can kind of see it all over my mat here. Should did this game last. And then the rules, which I haven't read, so I couldn't tell you exactly how to play it. But I said, word-based games where you've got letters you can twist. What looks really cool about this is my kids currently have a bunch of letters on the fridge. And they are... Not, we don't have all the letters. We've lost many of them. Magnetic letters on the fridge. and We've lost many of them. So they have a lot of fun trying to spell out sentences by using V's as A's and so on. So that's it. That's what you get. Jabuka. Oh, I just noticed a problem. So... This is an issue. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, they don't look damaged in any way. So one little stack of three. No, oh, here's another. So a few of these are stuck together. Someone put them in the bag before they had dried. Now these are coming off fairly easily, but it is taking some force. Thankfully, it does not look like they're damaging any of the paint. Like I can still read the letters. And yeah, here I have another set of two that are stuck together. Which, uh, if you do get this for kids, you're going to need some adult help probably to snap those apart. So yeah, someone put the put them in the paint, put them in the bag before the paint had dried. Here's another. Alright. There's Jabuka all wrapped up again. All right, there you have it. What you get when you pick up a copy of Jabuka from um, either their website or Amazon. It looks like they also sell it on there. We have a coffee bean themed word game. Some really cool looking coffee bean looking pieces with letters on them. Some of the letters that can be used multiple ways, which is an interesting twist. Something done a little different from other word games I've seen. I do dig the theming of this bag, though I would have preferred a box. This is not the kind of thing I want to put on my game shelf. And it is shedding all over the place, which is a little frustrating as someone who's going to record more than one unboxing video today. But other than that, this is Jabuka. Interesting looking word game. Uh, just came out in 2019. I'm looking forward to getting this to the table. Thank you. So I am Motuzo, the Tabletop Bellhop. Find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, including our webpage at tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find all kinds of awesome gaming content. Now, our goal is to be a Dear Abby for gamers. We're here to answer your gaming and game night questions. So if you've got a question for us, head over to that website, click on Ask the Bellhop, or fire me off an email at tabletop, sorry, questions at tabletopbellhop.com. And if you dig this, also consider tipping your bellhop by just clicking on the eye up there and seeing a link to our Patreon. Thank you, and game on.